Hello my darlings and welcome to my spell oil series. Today I'm going to share the recipe for abramelin oil. This spell oil is used to assist in ceremonial magic, ritual, and spell work. Let's do some magical crafting. This video is part of a series where I share recipes for 12 very popular spell oils. If you're interested in more oil recipes, please check out those other videos. I will link to them below. You can also watch a video in which I create a Book of Shadows page for each of the spell oils in the series. And if you'd like to download a PDF of any and all of my grimoire pages, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. My patrons can download recipes, Book of Shadows pages, artwork, and more, all provided as PDFs. And I continue to add new downloadable content as I do more projects on the channel. I put this printable label sheet on my Patreon as well. This sheet includes a label for each of the 12 oils in the series. You can print it out on label paper or print it on regular paper and glue tape or decoupage it onto your master bottle. If you'd like to download a PDF of this label sheet, you can visit Magical Crafting on Patreon at the link below the video. Spell oils are also called conjure oils and they're used in witchcraft, voodoo, hoodoo, and root work. Their uses are as varied as the people who make them. Abramelin oil is used as an oil of anointing, sometimes applied in small amounts to the top of the head or the forehead and is used for anointing of magical equipment to consecrate it. Before I talk about each ingredient and what it adds to the oil, I usually say that you can find many recipes for the oils I make in books and online and that the ingredients always differ slightly. However, that's not true with abramelin oil. This recipe has been unchanged since biblical times. A holy oil made with these ingredients is described in the book of Exodus, specifically chapter 30, verses 22 through 32. You can use any bottle you have on hand for spell oil. I chose this tall, thin bottle, but one with a wide opening can be a bit easier to add herbs into. This is called the master bottle. All of the ingredients are mixed into this bottle. I usually start with the dry ingredients, then add the essential oils, and finally add the carrier oil. You can do this the opposite way if you prefer to start with the main oil. In this recipe, I'll be making something called macerated abramelin oil. That's because the herbs, spices, and resins are infused into the carrier oil over time. You can make another version of this oil by using only essential oils and the carrier oil. If you make this oil using essential oils instead of herbs, it's important to ensure that the essential oils are completely dissolved. This will have the effect of no longer burning the skin. Once dissolved, the olive oil will change from green to silver in color. The first ingredient is calamus root. Calamus root is also known as sweet flag. It's an ingredient that will help you sweetly get your way. Use calamus root for spell work for protection, wisdom, and contacting your spiritual patrons. Root workers use calamus to break curses, aid in gambling luck, and for boosting good luck in general. Additionally, they use it as a controlling herb, guiding the actions of other people. It's thought to grant the bearer control over a person or a situation. Beyond controlling others, it's used to break jinxes or bring in good luck. It can also be used or burned as an incense to encourage spiritual, emotional, and physical healing. The second ingredient is cinnamon. Cinnamon brings luck while also boosting the power of the other herbs it's paired with. Cinnamon can be used to consecrate your spaces or magical tools. Burn cinnamon to stimulate your spiritual powers and increase your psychic ability and awareness. Cinnamon invokes lust and is considered an aphrodisiac. It can be used in love spells as well as for sex magic. It can be used in spells relating to success and can bring you luck it's also great when used in healing spells. The third ingredient is cassia. 
I'm including both cinnamon and cassia in my oil because recipes from the past usually include one or the other. And because in medieval Europe, it was difficult to obtain cinnamon and cassia as separate products. It's my opinion that they may be used separately or together. Cassia's legacy as an important trade good stretches to ancient Egypt, where it was used as an embalming agent for the pharaohs. Biblical references place cassia in Israel, where it was used both ritualistically and cosmetically. And cassia has been part of Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic practices for nearly 5,000 years. Using cassia noticeably increases energy levels. Its healing properties build courage and stoke the fires of sexual desire and arousal. Use cassia to attract prosperity and riches. The fourth ingredient is myrrh. Myrrh is not an herb, but a resin and appears in a number of religious and spiritual contexts. Myrrh, like frankincense and sandalwood, is associated with purification and cleansing. You can use myrrh in a number of different ritual and magical contexts. Myrrh amplifies your magical intent. You can also blend myrrh into an incense to use for purifying sacred spaces or to consecrate magical tools and other items. With all the dry ingredients and essential oils in the master bottle, it's time to fill the rest of the master bottle with the carrier oil. The carrier oil I'm using is olive oil. Usually I say well, use whatever carrier oil you have on hand, but in this case, the recipe calls for olive oil specifically. Once the master bottle is full, allow the herbs to steep inside for one month, shaking occasionally to mix them. Once the oil has steeped sufficiently, you can strain the herbs out of the oil using a cheesecloth lined strainer, if that's your preference. I like to leave my herbs inside the oil. Keep the bottle tightly closed and store it in a cool place. This way it can last from a year up to 18 months. Abramelin oil, also called oil of abramelin, is a ceremonial magic oil. It's primarily used to consecrate yourself and your tools before spell work. It can be used by anyone wishing to connect to any type of spiritual teaching or ceremonial magic. Abramelin oil became popular in the Western esoteric traditions in the 20th century via Aleister Crowley, who used a similar version of this oil in his system of magic. The oil continues to be used in several modern occult traditions, particularly Kabbalah, the Order of the Golden Dawn, and Thelema. If you decide to make Abramelin oil, I hope this video has given you some ideas for ingredients and that you manifest the results that you desire.